If the system of inequalities y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1 and y is greater than 1 half x minus 1 is graphed in the xy plane above, which quadrant contains no solutions to the system? Okay, so I'm going to copy this xy plane. Let's just make it a little bit bigger so I can graph these. Now, a lot of students get intimidated by inequalities. They look at the greater than or equal to sign and greater than sign and say, oh, I can't graph it. Well, just pretend y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 1 is y equals 2x plus 1. How do you graph y equals 2x plus 1? 1 is your y-intercept, so you go up 1. Make a point there. And then your slope is 2, 2 over 1, meaning you go up 2 and over 1. Up 2, over 1. And then you connect the dots. There we go. Alternatively, you can also do it with your calculator because this is section four. So we, we are allowed to use a calculator. So you could go to your y equals functionality and put in 2x plus one. And you get the same thing. So what does greater than or equal to 2x plus 1 mean? It means all the solutions to the system or to, you know, to this line, everything is above this line. It's greater than or equal to. So nothing here on the bottom, but the top. Let's look at y is greater than 1 half x minus 1. So I'll go to down here, 0.5x minus one. Let me graph it first just to show you by hand. Y intercept is negative one. So I'm going to go down one and make a point. And then the slope is one half, which means up one over two. So go up one over one, two. Then we will connect the dots. Also do it on the calculator, 0.5x minus 1 graph, and we see the same thing. So it says, which quadrant contains no solutions to the system above? So basically, it has to be greater than this line and this line. So if we look at quadrant one, this area in quadrant one is greater than both lines. If we looked at this area, it would be greater than this line, but less than this line. So that wouldn't work. But we found an area in quadrant one that's greater than both lines. So this quadrant one is a solution to the system. How about quadrant two? This area over here is greater than this line and it's greater than this line. So that's a solution to the system. This area here is greater than both lines. So that's a solution. Well, quadrant four, we only have this, which is only greater than this line. It is not greater than this line. So there's no area in quadrant four that's a solution to the system. So our answer is C. Quadrant four is the quadrant that contains no solutions to the system.